five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. How are you? It is the Rambo. I'm Alex Bennett. We go until uh, midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. And, uh, you know, it, uh, I don't know what time it is where you are in the world, but if you look and check it out, if we're, we're live in uh, New York City, so uh, it's 10 o'clock in, at night in New York City, so just check and see uh, if we're live or not. If we're not live, well, fuck you. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. I don't have anything. You see, I don't have my wife here tonight. She decided, you know, I've decided that every week whenever I ask her if she's going to do the show, she says, can I not do it tonight? So um, I just decided that if she wants to do the show, she can let me know. I'm not going to I'm not going to beg any longer. Uh, so uh, I have uh, no nobody here to talk to except. Well, you, I guess, and uh, I, I guess I will. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, can, can I, uh, oh, I know what I have to do. I have to turn this on. Boom, see that? <laughs> yeah, I should have a light bulb there so it looks like I'm really smart and thinking about things, you know. But let me see here. Can I just move this just a little bit more up? There we go. Yeah, yeah, I like, there we go. We look good now. We, well, we never look good, but we look better. Anyway. So uh, I don't have a lot to talk about. Uh, you know, I have a, well, I have a thing to gripe about, I guess, you know, in my personal life. Uh, so let me, uh, let me, let me talk. Well, I'll talk to you about it in a second. Uh, by the way, uh, if you from now on are looking for us on live stream, we are no longer on live stream. Uh, I'll tell you why. For uh, the first place we ever did our uh uh, show when we were doing it from a TV station, from a uh, studio rather. Uh, uh, we we were using live stream, and live stream loved us so much they actually gave us the service, and uh, gave us a special service and so on, so that we would, you know, be able to do this uh, the show live going out, and then they would repeat it over and over and over again and so on. And so I went with them, and then when we stopped doing that, I had to start paying for it, and it was like 49 bucks a month, and I just kept doing it. I don't know why. Nobody ever watches our show on live stream. We get maybe 10 people a day, cops, who watch it on live stream. So nobody was watching it on live stream. The only thing that was good is I had something like, I don't know, 10,000 people who were followers of the channel, but it didn't help. It didn't help me to get that many people. So uh, I just decided that uh, after years and years and years of doing this, that I kept thinking, I gotta, I gotta stop paying the forty-nine bucks a month. It's not getting me anything. It's not like it's uh, being used to embed somewhere or something like that. It didn't have any real positive reason for existence. So. Um, the thing that broke the camel's back, I did keep it because they have a thing called Livestream Studio, and this is a switching program, much like the one I use here, only more complex. Maybe not as good, but more complex. And, and so I kept fooling around with it to see if maybe I could use it, and I never could quite use it because I could never get it to exactly work right. I couldn't figure out how to get uh, Skype to work with it, uh, things like that, all right? So, uh, but I kept it for that studio. So the other day, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I'm, I decided, well, I haven't played with the studio for a while. Let me go to that program and play around with it. And I started playing around with live stream studio. And I started making it do things and flip-flopping and uh, to bringing in videos and things like that to see how it worked and how to do this and how to do that. And after I played with it for, I don't know, about an hour and a half, um, I decided, uh, well, that's enough playing around with it. I still can't understand how this damn thing works. And I, um, I decided, 
fuck it, uh, I'll turn it off. So I turned it off, and immediately as I turned it off, my pictures started getting wonky on my display. And I figured, ah, well, you know, sometimes what happens is you run a program and it interferes with something else, and then, you know, you got to reboot. So always, if things go bad, reboot, all right? So I rebooted, and it had a hard time rebooting. In fact, it would reboot to a yellow screen, and then maybe if you left the yellow screen there for a while, it would come on, and then certain things wouldn't work on the screen, and things were transparent, and the, the display wasn't working. Uh, I rebooted it several times. It was getting to the point where I couldn't even reboot it. And uh, I, uh, I, I just, you know, gave up on it, took it down to the Apple store and said, fix it, right? Okay, that's another story that I've got to get into in a moment. So I, have, I write live stream and I say, look, I don't know if there's any coincidence here, but here's what happened. And they go, well, gee, it's never happened with anybody else, and we can't figure out what it possibly could be. And they said, but, you know, if, if you want to try again, if you want to try using the studio again, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give you a free subscription for a month or so so you can test it. And I wrote them back, and I said, look, this is what I think ruined my machine and made it blow. Um, now, I, I, I'm not... 100% blaming live stream. The whole two things could be purely coincidental that, you know, my thing stopped working and, you know, whatever. So, uh, but but they, rather than say, we're going to really investigate this thing, they just went, we, we haven't seen anybody else that happened to it. Did it do this? Did it do that? They asked me a few questions and then they thanked me for my help. So tonight, I just decided, what the fuck? You know, I have, I don't know why I've been keeping live stream all these years. They've, they've been making uh, about, about $500 a year off, more than that, $600 a year off of me. And for what? Nothing. It never got me anything. Uh, none of you people ever watch me on live stream. Uh, and uh, so it, it, it just, it, it didn't make any, it didn't make any logical sense to keep the damn thing up, so. That was that was that, and I I canceled live stream. So if you are one of the five people out there uh, who have used live stream over the years, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we're no longer on live stream. But you can go watch all our videos and stuff on uh, on uh, uh, YouTube or on. Uh, where do you call it? Um, uh, uh, Facebook. Later on, after the show is over, uh, and uh, right now you can watch us live. Uh, you can watch us at the uh, on our on our Facebook on our uh, gabnet.net. You can watch us on. Uh, let me see here on YouTube, um, and uh, simply go to uh, well www.youtube.com forward slash and. Or put it, just put in Alex Bennett, and it'll probably say right there live, and you click on that, and you can see our live picture. Or you can go forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live, and that'll, that'll get you our, our live production here. And the picture's looking pretty good tonight. Uh, uh, I, I also want, uh, so anyway, so uh, let me, let me, I guess I should take this a step at a time, right? Okay. So I take the, the machine down to Apple and they, you know, for them to fix it. And they, they check it out and they say, well, it looks like it might be a, uh, uh, one, of your, uh, one of your display boards. Okay, fine. Fix it. So they take the thing in and they, they look at it and they go, yeah, it's a display board. Now there are two uh, graphics boards in this particular version of the Mac. It's the Mac Pro. It's what they call the trash can. It's a very powerful machine. Uh, and uh, so they, they send away for the, they, there are two of them. What do they do? Do they send away for two of them? No, they send away for one of them. And they send away for the A board, OK? And they put the A board in, and it still doesn't work, OK? So then they put in the B, they send away, it takes another three or four days, and they get the B board, they put it in, it works. And they call me and they say, it works, that's the good news. The bad news is, 
when we test it, it shows a slight heating up because uh, this has a very weird cooling system where it's a funnel and it goes up straight up through the thing and I don't know. So they said it, it doesn't seem to be cooling it completely efficiently. So rather than give it back to you that way, we're gonna send away for some paste and some heating pads and install them, all right? How long will that take? Another three days. Okay, so now uh, we're getting now to today, which is two weeks since I took the uh, trash can in to be fixed, all right? Mind you, each time they had, they couldn't order two boards and then figure out which one didn't work or order the B board first and maybe that would work. Now they tell me, so they sent me a note today and it says, thank you very for your service at our, uh, at our technical thing. Your machine is ready, come down and get it. All right, and then they call me and tell me, come down and get it, all right? So I get in a cab because it's raining cats and dogs out there and I didn't want to take a train. And the cab is 20 bucks to the Apple store. And, um, and the only reason I'm telling you that is to emphasize the futility of this story. Uh, and uh, I get down there and they go, yeah, now go over to ta that table there and wait and they'll come and bring your, your machine out to you. And I'm going, okay, cool, everything's cool, everything's going fine, we're great. Now a guy comes out and he goes, it's gonna be a couple more minutes because we're still doing some final testing. I go, okay, well, you couldn't do the final testing before I got here, you sent me a note, it was ready. But okay, I'm copacetic and I'm looking at their, you know, iPad uh, uh, cases and things like that, you know, and you know, it's kind of like, uh, you ever know when you go to a, a drugstore or a store and just before you sign out, there's a whole bunch of stuff at the checkout stand hoping that you will do an impulse buy? Well, that's exactly why the Apple store is there when you're there to get something fixed. Finally, a guy comes out and he doesn't have it. And he says, I got, I got something to tell you. What happened is, is we did a last minute test uh, for the, uh, you know, for the heat, you know, for the heat circulation. And we, while we can't feel, uh, while all the fans feel fine and there's air coming through there, the diagnostic machines uh, say to the contrary, that there's a, a small problem with some, uh, with it not cooling it enough. So, wh so what are we gonna do? Well, we can't fix it here. We have to send it off site. I went, oh, okay, that's cool. Where's off site? Texas. Why? Texas. But don't worry, we can send it overnight. We can overnight it to them. We'll tell them to expedite it and then they will overnight it back. And you maybe could get it anywhere from like next Tuesday to next Friday. Now mind you, this has been going on for three weeks or for two weeks now and it'll be three weeks if I get the thing back in a week. And the guy says, yeah, they, we gotta send it down there because probably it's gonna need, they're gonna need to do a few other things to it. Uh, and then he, he mentioned at, at one point, and I don't know what he meant by this, they may have to replace all the insides. <laughs> and I thought, they have to replace all the insides? He said, well, there's a heat sink in there and a blah, 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 and a blah, 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 and they may have to replace the, the, all the insides. I probably not things like the logic board or whatever, but you know. And he said, "But don't worry, you're only going to pay the three seventy-five we said it was going to cost you in the first place, no matter what they charge." He says, "And when you come here, you will get a bill, and th and that will be on the bill, but the amount that you owe them in Texas will be minused out, and you'll only have to pay like three seventy-five, three eighty, somewhere around in there." So I went. Well, you know, I mean, I guess the good news is I may be getting a brand new machine. <laughs> and the bad news is I'm still working with this machine. I got this, this Mac Pro here, the, what we call the cheese grater down here. And you maybe can even hear it. It's very noisy. Hear that? Hear that? It's very noisy. And, and I do a show here, and, I, and when you're using it, more, the more you use it, the more it puts pressure on the... CPU and so on, and then the fan goes faster on this machine. 
when that happens. Now, the thing about the, the other machine that I had, the, the, the uh, trash can, and this is what's so good about it, is that there was absolutely uh, no sound coming out of it. I mean, I, I was amazed. It, it, and you would be amazed how quiet it becomes in this room without that, uh, with, 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 with that machine instead of this one. But this was my old Mac Pro, and it it's, has served me well. God, I love you. You know, you've been you've been sturdy, and I, uh, you know, knock on wood, I haven't had any problems with it that I can remember. Jeez, am I trying to think? You know, outside of a hard drive blowing or something like that. So this machine is doing the the hard lifting here, and it really can't. You'll find that when we talk to our citizen panel, the minute I get like uh, six people on the citizen panel, I will start my my I, my lips won't move with my face. Okay, as much as I've tried to fix that problem, and that's because this is an, this is a much slower machine. The other one is a behemoth of a of a thing. It's a twelve core machine. This is only an eight core, and this doesn't have the power that that one has. And the graphics boards in there are just sensational. Uh, so the, uh, you know, um, it, it, it just isn't, uh, it, it, it doesn't use up as much. But the more strain I put on this machine, the more wonky it gets. And uh, there was, when I heard that I wasn't going to get my machine back today, and I went all the way down there, okay, because it's the, it said, your machine is ready. And then I called them back because they had called and I didn't get the call. And they, oh, yes. Your machine is ready. Come on down and get it. And I go down there, and I'm told uh, it's not ready. And, in fact, uh, we're shipping it off to another country or something like that. And online, they were even supposed to send me a thing saying, uh, here's your new, uh, here's your new uh, number for, your, for the job. And uh, I said, I didn't, uh, they didn't send me an email. They haven't sent it yet. And I go online, and it says they're still in the process of shipping it. And it's just, it goes on and on and on and on. This thing, this is just getting to be too much. Now, when I'm through, I may have one hell of a good machine that, you know, will last me a long time because it's, you know, it's done good by me. But, you know, and they're going to do repairs that are going to make it probably last into another century. But I still... And bothered by, you know, by the fact that I had to go down there and I had to do all of that, and that, that wasn't much fun. So um, uh, I, I apologize, and I, I didn't, I, I was so dis, dis, dismayed by this that I was, that I was almost not going to do a show tonight and not do a show until I got that other machine back because this poor machine down here, I mean, Thank you, sweetie. Just keep going. Just a few more days, okay? Has been doing yeoman work, but it is, it's not, does not have the horsepower that is needed uh, to make this actually work uh, optimally. Uh, but, you know, I mean, uh, what the hell? You know, I, I just hope that, uh, that it will, uh, will hold up and, I'm, you know, I may, uh, I, I'm probably will do shows next week. But if I'm not going to do a show like Tuesday, or whatever, I'll let you know on on Facebook, okay? Uh, and and the reason that we've got to we've got to do it day by day is I've got to see how I feel about this machine. I don't want to put a complete strain on this machine. I like this as a backup machine, and I want it to remain a backup machine. And quite frankly, if this thing breaks, I don't have to take it to the Apple Store. In fact, the Apple Store won't even fix it. It's so old, all right? But it's simple to fix because it's all modular. If the fan goes, I can go buy a fan for it. Uh, if the uh, power, power supply goes, I can buy a power supply for it. If I, you know, one of the memory things goes, I, everything I can pull out, put new stuff in, whatever. I think the only thing that's hard to replace is the CPU, and I think... I think I can even do that. I think that's even a pullout thing as well. So a, a much better in that respect than the machine that I have now or this machine that's being fixed. So anyway, that's, 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 that's the story. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sticking to it. 
Uh, let me see here. So that I and I don't want to I, you know, I don't want to gripe about the technology here. As I said before, you don't want to know how the you, you, you just want to eat the steak. You don't want to know how it was killed. And and uh, I don't think it's that important that, that you know this. Uh, but I need to tell you because you're going to notice that the picture, for instance, uh, with this machine is not as good. I've, I've checked it out against stuff I did with the old one. It is not as good as the old, the other, the old, the old machine. The my new machine, which is the old machine, because that's the one that's not here right now. Uh, and um, it uh, it just worked fantastically, you know. Uh, but and then that happened. So I don't know if it had to do with live stream, but I canceled live stream because I saw no. I'm the, they said to me, if you want, you know, if you want to use this live stream studio again some more, uh, we'll 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 let you keep it for a while. And I went, I wrote them back, and I said, I suspect it may have blown my machine. Why the fuck would I want to use your program? You know. Now I'm not impugning them. Could be there's nothing wrong with their programming. Could be the whole thing is coincidental. I mean, there has been a problem with the graphics boards in the trash can. But if it didn't go by now, that wasn't probably part of their recall that they had. I, and I'm not part of the recall. But anyway, so uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a whole big deal fixed, and I, who knows when I'll get it back. They feel probably. Uh, it, is, it is reasonable for them to say a week, but it could be just a few days, but they don't want to say that because they don't want to get my hopes up, okay? All right. So let me see here. What else? Uh, nothing, nothing much. Uh, the, the last episode of a show I really like, uh, the Orville uh, broadcast last night, and I got to tell you, I love that show. Uh, it's Seth MacFarlane doing essentially Star Trek. Uh, it's almost an homage to his love of Star Trek, using the same, the same quality production that they used on some of the later versions, like Voyager and um, uh, and so on. And uh, it they use this, uh, the guy who did the music for Star Trek to do the music for this thing and. Uh, Brian Braga, who was a major writer on Star Trek uh, Next Gen, is one of the major people involved in this project. And if you've never seen the Orville, or you haven't had the ability to see the Orville, and you can go back to like uh, Hulu or someplace like that where they have all the episodes, uh, watch it. I, I think you'll enjoy it. You'll really enjoy it. Uh, I think it's a, a spectacular show. Anyway, we're going to now put the strain on the machine. And when I'm through, you know, when I'm through after two hours with this, with this strain I put on it, this, this machine is like whirring, like I almost have to leave the room, it's so loud. Uh, if you thought it was loud when I let you hear it a few moments ago, uh, it's not that now. Let me, let me, let me uh, go here and activate Skype so that people can call me on Skype. And we can see what uh, what uh, you know what we're gonna what, what we're gonna do here. Uh, so if you would like to start calling the program, this is where I have to wait because I tell people I've turned it on and then they don't hear that for about a minute and then they got to then click on and call me. So I have to wait for that to happen. All right. So we'll uh, we should be uh, we should be getting somebody calling shortly. It's probably going to be Phil. Phil's usually the first. But you never know. You never know. Is Phil out there tonight? Let me see here. Who's out there? I know Charlie's online. And uh, let me see here. Uh, no, Patrick Blazik is in the line. Phil is online. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Okay. And um, Eddie Jordan's online. Okay, here comes Eddie Jordan. Ah, third night in a row for Eddie. Wow. Uh, hello, uh, Eddie. Are you there, Eddie? Eddie? Let me see. Oh, here. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. All righty. Uh, let me see here. Uh, wait a minute. And then I got to do Jeff Stein, and I got to do Charlie Wallace. Okay. Then I got to all give them a place on, on the uh, 
on the thing. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I mean, I gotta, I gotta do this. Oh, wait, wait. and there's Josh Wheeler. Wait a minute, hold on a second, folks. I gotta, I gotta do this. Uh, uh, let me see here. Let me t wow, first in first place in first place. Let me put in uh, Charlie Wallace, okay? And then in second place, uh, let me put uh, Eddie. Uh, and he he's the same place he was last night, so I don't even have to click him in there. Then uh, let me see here in third place. Uh, oh, wait a minute, I've got I've got Charlie Wallace in two places. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, hold on a second. Here comes Phil Meyer. Wait a minute, I got it. I, I'm having a problem here. Hold on a second. Cancel. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I see what the problem is. Okay. And third place, I've got to put in. Uh, oh, uh, well, who we put in there? Uh, we'll put uh, uh, Josh Wheeler. Uh, let me see here. Uh, is he there? There he is. Okay. And then in fourth place, uh, we got to put. Uh, we'll put uh, 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 Phil. Uh, let me see here, scuba diver, there we go, and uh, no, no, there, there's Jeff Stein, and then in fifth place, I got to put uh, uh, scuba diver, where is he, there he is, okay, all right, let me see if that works, there we go, there's a, there's a, there's almost a whole citizen panel going to, and I'm all, already, I'm out of sync, okay, so. Overloaded. Whatever, uh, you know. I, I'm I'm sick and tired of this. It's 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 getting to me. You know, but I'm uh, I'm 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 out of uh, out of sync completely. Let me see here. Where are we? Six. Okay, there we go. So anyway, so if, uh, folks, if don't pay no attention to me. You know, I'm I, I I should even just take myself off of here so that you don't see me. And then you don't have to see me uh, uh, out of out of out of sync uh, here, you know. You just do that, and then you th then you just see the citizen panel. Uh, Could you maybe uh, just hang up on Phil and see if it makes things any better? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Josh. Oh, you know, Josh. Uh, but <laughs> let me let me put myself back in here. Just folks, just don't mind that I'm out of sync. All right, just pay no attention to that. I, I thought I had the problem solved, but I really don't have the problem solved. And uh, uh, you know what? What the hell? I'm. Uh, let me see here. Is there any other place that uh, the active speaker? No, 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 no. Uh, I've got it on the only thing I can. So uh, we'll uh, just uh, uh, just hope that we're okay. It, it's it's not that far off sync. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Let me do one other thing here. Yeah. Okay, uh, and so uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, up at the top, you see Charlie Wallace. Right below him is Eddie. Right below him is Josh Wheeler. On the other side, you see Jeff Stein. And then there is, of course, what's your name? What is your name, guy? Bald, fat guy? What? Uh, I, I, I was falling asleep uh, uh, in Joe Biden. You know, he's, you know, he was so sleepy today. Uh, Oh, you yeah. know, you just believe everything your Fuhrer says, don't you? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how are you this evening? Miserable. I, I I'm know. miserable. You said it was raining earlier? It was raining on top of everything. You, yeah. You took the cab? Yeah, yeah I took the cab. At, uh, $40 worth of cab ride back and forth for nothing because they told me no. it was ready. When, yeah. When you tell them your story of woe. Yeah. I don't think that 375 is going to be uh, coming out of your pocket. What? Uh, what, what do you mean? Uh, I don't think they're going to charge you. Oh, I think they will. I, yeah. Yeah, they will. They told me they will charge me, but they won't charge me for anything that's done in Texas. What might go on in Texas? They might replace almost every part inside. Yeah. Well, just make sure you tell them that you know you took a forty dollar cab ride uh, on their, their on their say so. That the thing was ready, yeah, and uh, you, you're not happy. I, I'm not. I'm not yeah. happy. You know, but well, I mean, well, let them know. Mar Marjorie said I should have told them. Well, you're going to pay for the cab ride, and I said, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I don't think that's going to play. You know, cross you that bridge heard? when you come to. I it, will. Say, I will say something about Apple. Uh, the last yeah. time I had a problem with Apple, 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, now this thing isn't uh, isn't going back and forth at all. There we go. Um, the, the thing with Apple is is that the last time I had a problem, I think it was with the machine I got from you, and they went to fix right. it. Right. And they replaced the logic board, or was it the was it a hard drive? They replaced something, uh, and, and and then I brought it home and it didn't work. So I took it back, right. and they found it was like the oh, logic. Oh, they replaced the hard drive, and then they replaced the logic yeah, board. Yeah, and then they decided it, was the, it wasn't the hard drive. It was the logic board, and they didn't charge me for the logic board. Yeah. Yeah, which is pretty good. Uh, you know. and, it, and it'd also be nice if they leave the new uh, A board in there for you. You know, the, they replaced it. It's used now. They're not going to be able to sell it to somebody no, else. They, they can use it again. You know, they can use it again. They, it uh, never was used. It was put in. It was tested, and it didn't work. It's, it can't be sold as used. It doesn't have to be sold as used. Uh, uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Um, boy, you're you're little, you're kind of stuttering tonight, but you know. Me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. You, you got a little bandwidth uh, problem. Hey, listen, it could be my problems here, you know. Um, but uh, 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 but uh, everybody else looks like they're pretty uh, pretty, uh, pretty on pretty five. Good shape. Hmm? Okay, hmm. here comes one more person to put me out of. I'll uh, do a speed test. Here oh, we go. Jason. Oh, oh, good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got Jason coming in here. Let me just uh, uh, put him in the panel. And that'll put me even more out of sync. Thank you very much, Jason. Uh, th 3MM, what, what is that name you use? 3 3AM. 3AM, is that what it is? I see. Okay. Anyway. We used to go to the church. That's Jason. Look, look, Phil's all getting screwed up there. Wow, yeah, his pitch is breaking up. You're doing a speed test. Oh, yeah, well, great. Really? Do a speed test. I'm doing test. a speed test. That, that'll keep Latency it. error. Could not connect the server. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, well. All right. Yeah. We don't want to hear about your technical problems. Why don't you just sign out and call back in? All right. Yeah. Goodbye. Re reboot your modem. Yeah. 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 Do something. Do something. Well, the yeah. spot will be left open for you because it's got your name in it. Oh, okay. In fact, if you hang up, it'll right. probably freeze. So we'll always right. have your picture in there. Oh, uh, then if it's going to freeze, uh, let me get that picture in. <laughs> there, well, you, but you, if it's going to freeze, you got to sign yourself off while you're giving us the finger. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, so. Uh, hey, Alex. Yes. I, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I just called in, but you said something the other day about uh, Hulu probably dropping Disney shows and stuff. Yeah. Disney's an owner of Hulu. Disney is a partial owner of Hulu. Yeah, but it's only owned by Disney and well, uh, Comcast he, he, now. So well, here's, what, here's what's there. happening. Here's what's happening. It's owned by Comcast and Disney, and... They were talking about getting out of Hulu, okay? Well, Disney then, just wait, bought wait, 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 the share of it. Wait a minute. Then they've decided they want to own 100% of Hulu. And uh, Comcast doesn't want to get rid of Hulu. So then Disney said, well, maybe we'll get out of Hulu. There, there's that. Yeah, they're trying to play a game there. So. But they just bought at and share of Hulu. They bought so I don't think they want to get out of it. Yeah, like one point nine billion dollars worth. Yeah, but they last week the word was they were thinking of getting out of it. Who's who's, who's got some kind of something's playing back here? Boy, we got nothing but problems. You know, between yeah, you know, I would have none of these problems if I could use the old Skype. You know, uh, because it didn't eat up that much power. You know, the new Skype uses a lot of your uh, your uh, power on your computer, much more than the old one did. It, it, can I say, because I know you said, like, I think it was yesterday's show, you didn't want to talk about technical stuff, but is it, is it Eddie, the new guy? Eddie's the new guy, yeah. I, it, I'm sorry, but ever since he started calling in, that's when I've been hearing it. Hey, it's been <laughs> gone for a couple of days. I, I don't know if today his volume is too loud and it's coming feeding back on the mic. Uh, uh, so uh, I may just do, try do, turning do it down a little bit. Do, us, do something for us, Eddie. Uh, I'll do, you mute not, do, do, do you not unmute your microphone? Your microphone, not everybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> the, the picture of a microphone down at the bottom of the screen, and 
you or just even just try to turn the volume down because he doesn't have uh, headphones. Well, well uh, let's let's. Uh, I don't know that that uh, that kind of is it. I think. Okay, here comes. That's Ray, why I'm here, a communication specialist. Here comes Ray. Chase? Here comes Ray Renati, Chase, the new engineer. So uh, let me see here. Hello. Hello, hold on a second, Ray. I got to give you a I got to give you a spot on the show here. Uh, oh, okay. He, he, he's outside again. Uh, let me see <laughs> here. Uh, 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 who is Gumbo sixty one? That's me. That's me. That's me. Uh, that's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wish you guys would use your real name. I wish you would really use your names. You know. Well, I have it, to. I'll have to change my account. I can't it, change the account name that I made like ten years ago. Why not? I, my yeah. name. Uh, can you? Yes, you can. can yeah. put, you can absolutely oh, okay. change it. it. You can absolutely change oh, okay. it. Yeah. Oh, but no, I think that. you used to be able to change your name that would show up before. Because remember, uh, yeah, there was one time I, I changed did. it to Lexa Pro. Yeah. And I called in, and you're like, who's Lex? A pro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah before but, it used to say my name. Yeah. Because I would but, put that as my name, but there's the ID. I don't know if I can change and, that. And you can change your name, but you yeah. can't change your ID. And so yeah. now it's just showing up the ID. Yeah. 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 So, so I can open up a new Skype account, I guess. Yeah. Where are you walking? To the gym? I, I'm out on the Baylands uh, in Palo Alto. It's a nature preserve. Oh, okay. Are you going to the gym? It's like 10 minute walk from. No, I'm just walking the dog. Oh, okay. Show just us. Walking the, the doggy. There's the dog. Yeah. Yeah. The Disney dog. The, the Disney dog. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Are we feel free? Uh, well, no, not yet. Oh. Not yet. I heard. Huh? Sorry, I get yelled at by my kid. I'm going to the basement. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Well, <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah. So, <laughs> so did you hear Trump talking about uh, how how great the uh, Nazis were again? No. Yeah. When they ran over the girl. Oh. An ass. What a freaking asshole! What, what, what did he say? How, you know. Well, he was he was back to saying how there was good people on both sides and all that. <laughs> Anti-Semitic pictures, and pictures of him with torches <laughs> marching and the whole uh, every. Oh, Wait, God, but it just he, he makes he, me he, sick. He doesn't want to give up the ghost on that. I mean, does he no, have no, to he, revisit it? No, against Kerry because Kerry said that's why he's running for president. After Trump said that, he decided he couldn't let it happen. You know. Happen. You mean Biden? Let that go on. You mean Biden? Biden, I mean Biden. Yeah, Sorry, Biden. Yeah, Biden. Yeah. Get them mixed up. Uh, so he he yeah. says no. They were good guys on both sides. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. I never ever thought of Nazis as good guys under any circumstances. <laughs> you know. Me either. It's so insensitive. I mean, this woman got run over. Thirty other <clears throat> people got maimed by the crazy Nazi guy in the car, and then mm. he says shit like that. I know, how, I know how I can prevent myself from being out of sync. I'll just hold my hand over my mouth. So when I'm <laughs> talking, nobody will know lie. that I'm out of you sync. I'm out of sync by about three seconds is what I am. Hmm. It's all because of you damn people who call this program. Look at you. <laughs> and Phil, what if we all hold our hands And Phil mouth? isn't here, folks. He's just frozen. And that's the way we, we like him, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh look, we get get, get us a handyman action going there. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, where, where is that? Is that is that is, uh, is that Josh? Space? Oh, yeah. Josh has gone to his garage. I think. No. Yeah, he got kicked out of the house. I guess. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Here, I'll show you the view here. It's pretty nice. Okay. Ah, freaking mosquitoes everywhere. Oh, Ouch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't nature wonderful? There you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a very yeah. nice sunset. That's a very yeah. nice sunset you got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's terrific. Bicyclists. I know. This is a 10-minute walk from my house. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. There's all kinds of ducks and mosquitoes and skunks. Yeah, Great. well, if I spend have to spend more money on more stuff, that might be my house. Uh, <laughs> you know, get a sleeping bag and live out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why? What happened? You going broke? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Okay. But I will. Right. I will. Well, we all will eventually. 
Jeff's got his hand up. What? Uh, you know, uh, oh, got oh, 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 yeah. Uh, Jeff's got his hand up. Yeah, I sometimes I, I, I have a hard. I've it's smaller screen that I'm looking at now, so it's harder. Right. Yes, Jeff. Let's see. What was they talking about? <laughs> I forgot. I'm going broke uh, about it's Trump. A, it's about a guy named Joe something or other. Biden. Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah. You know Joe Biden running for president. About why he didn't uh, go against Trump the last time? I don't know. Was he Biden his time? Oh. Ooh. His son just died. Remember his son died. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I think somebody looked at him like, oh, I guess that's a good excuse. What, what, what Trump met, brought that up? No, 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 no. Oh. Somebody on. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Maybe it had something to do with Hillary what running. The hell he was but being interviewed. Trump is saying he's the young guy running now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there's a four-year difference in there's a four-year difference in their age, so you know. Who knows? How can this guy be have a Jewish son-in-law, mm. and he's an anti-Semite, yeah. Nazi, <laughs> Nazi sympathizer? Uh, <laughs> you know, Nazi here, 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 here was the thing that got me gotta, about him today was that he. He was uh, making a big deal about the fact that uh, Joe Biden, he called him Sleepy Joe, of course, and then he said he's he's <laughs> not he's not too br uh, bright. Oh, and I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, who's calling somebody else not bright? <laughs> I mean, let's face it, you know, uh, 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 Trump is not. Uh, would anybody here call him bright? No, he's a very a low IQ scientist. individual. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very. I, I what? I like it when he calls people low IQ. I like it when he calls people a low IQ individual. He off, he often does that. Very low IQ individual. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Said, so what is Trump like? Eighty three? Uh huh. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll never know if if he. If he were to take an IQ test, he'd immediately have it sealed by a court order, so we would never yeah. be able to do that. Correct. Wouldn't matter. Somebody, uh, by the way, Josh, asked uh, yesterday or the other day uh, a, mm -hmm. a, very, a very good question, which was, uh, can he tell somebody not to testify? You know, can he uh, tell somebody, like, if they're subpoenaed by Congress, don't testify? Does he have the ability and executive power to prevent that person from testifying? Well, I don't think he can tell them not to testify. I think the most that they could do is they could make a decision with their counsel to basically invoke, you know, like executive privilege, mm -hmm. yeah. which, you know, sort of the executive branch's, you know, uh, equivalent of, you know, your Fifth Amendment right not to testify, mm -hmm. which, you know, you could basically just show up, they can ask you a question, and you can invoke executive privilege where you can say, well, that was a conversation that I had privately with the president where I gave him counsel, and, mm -hmm. and you know, under federal law, those those conversations are uh, not required to be revealed, you know, even, even by a court order most of the time. So they could invoke executive privilege, and all administrations have used it here and there from time to time, but if they were to use it uh, as a stone wall, you know, that's that's generally not thought of well. But at the same time, even if they're ordered not to, you know, you can't physically make the, them speak. It, it's almost, it will almost be settled at the ballot box, you know, one way or the other, you know, yeah. more than likely, if they all absolutely refuse to testify. But can he order someone not to go? No, I don't think he can. I think I, that's obstruction of justice. Right, right, right. That's obs that's obstruction of justice. Right. I mean, no matter who the president is. I mean, just as a matter of law. Right, but, not, but, but don't you know obstruction of... Uh, yes, Je Jeff. Jeff. I disagree with you guys. I wish I had my, my wife, the attorney, here, but she's not. But um, I think the president has special privileges to shut his mouth. 
because he hasn't done that very often, but he could do it. Yeah, yeah. And, and the other choice is to fire him. Well, no, like, for instance, he doesn't want McGahn to testify. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. he and he wants to tell him not to testify. He did, but and, he's not supposed but, to do but that. But he's not supposed to do that. Am I right? <laughs> is, is, are, we, are we right, Josh? Yeah. I don't um, think it was McGahn. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I mean, the, the Don McGahn has been subpoenaed to appear before, you know, what, the House Intelligence Committee or mm -hmm. whichever one, oversight, you know, it doesn't matter, whichever one. And, yeah, you know, President Trump would prefer greatly that he not testify because uh, his information that he gave to the special counsel, the independent counsel, was, you know, pretty damaging, you know, I mean, because he told the truth. And, you know, they don't want it out there again, and, and they don't want more questions and more follow-up. So, yeah, he's basically said to, you know, Don McGahn not to test. But the fact of the matter is, number one, I don't think he, he doesn't have the right to tell him not to testify. Yeah. Again, we're back to the to the argument of executive privilege. And number two, Don McGahn, as far as I understand, he doesn't even work for him anymore, right? He left the White House. He's a, yeah. He's back to being a private citizen. Citizen, he doesn't work for Donald Trump anymore. So now, uh, executive privilege never leaves the two individuals, regardless of whether they work for each other anymore. Just like it's very similar in my, my mind to attorney-client privilege, I guess you know. So, but he can't tell him not to. And, and I mean, I mean, they'll probably invoke executive privilege, I suppose. But uh, that's going to be back to again a matter for the you know probably for the ballot box because I don't know that they can really, really settle that in court. Okay. All right. Here's a nice sunset for you. No, wait a minute. Hold on a second, everybody. Here, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Beauty. Mm -hmm. That is. And, I, and I'm not. I'm not the. Uh, I'm not the authority on this. I mean, I think I have a decent understanding, but, but so I mean, take more opinion. But I mean, and, and I can certainly say, uh, just I mean, we're not even going to talk about it as a matter of law, but again, I'm going to go back and give you as a matter of my opinion based on what I know, know which is a great deal about uh, the founding of our nation, specifically the drafting of our Constitution. And, I, and again, I can just tell you that if you think the men in the room would have thought that a uh, president would have had the power to order someone not to testify in, in a court of law, that's, that's nonsense. And anybody tells you that uh, it, is shilling for the man that they're working for now, and six months later, when another guy's in, they'll have a totally different opinion. You, Hello, you know, Phil, you're back, I mean, Phil. Yeah, is yeah. this better? Oh, yeah, that's be much better. What did you do? Yeah. You rebooted uh, everything? I rebooted everything. Modem, mm. uh, switch, uh, not switch, the uh, Wi-Fi, yeah. uh, the computer, yeah. everything. Yeah. Did you change your underwear, too? No, uh, not in the last couple of days. <laughs> you know, they, they don't stick to the wall yet. <laughs> do you have a separate hey, Phil, check out your this modem? sunset. Uh, yes, I, I do. Yeah, beautiful sunset. If everybody, your modem wireless if, if everybody is quiet, for, uh, if, no. if everybody's quiet and Ray says something, it will go so I can put that picture up full screen here. Oh, I didn't know how that's how it works now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can hear ducks, too, and uh, yeah. various and, bird lights. And then I mm. just go... Boom. And there you go. Look at that. There you go. Look at yeah. that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a, That's a sunset. And those are, are those yeah. are those ducks down in the water? Yeah. Uh, those are coots, I think. They're ducks to my right, but you can't really see them. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice, huh? Beautiful. Very nice. Uh -huh. Rival Hawaii. Is that uh, East Palo Alto? Uh, it's sort of on the. I'm a, you know, I'm about uh, half a mile from East Palo Alto. This is Palo Alto Bayland. Uh, yeah. It's safer here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Hell's Angels. Yeah, no uh, Hell's Angels on the trails. Yeah. And somebody wrote me. This is this is a, this sheer stupidity. I thought, Alex, why are you supersizing the individual tiles? Are you aware of it? No, I'm not aware of it. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> of course I'm aware of it. You know. Hey, that guy might be onto something. <laughs> you know? Uh, might, might be onto what, Phil? Oh, that you can <laughs> supersize the tiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I mean, would you rather that everybody just be like that? Okay, fine. <coughs> Fuck you, Forbin. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got twenty. Uh, you know, I'm having a hard enough time. I'm up, having up. a hard enough time getting this to work. For instance, tonight, among mm-hmm. other things, I usually can switch buttons and cut to one screen or another by just pushing a single button here. But the buttons aren't working now, so. You know, mm. I have to do it by clicking on the screen, and it. So fuck you, okay? I'm doing my best. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just so I, it, I'll be out of sync, but fuck Jason, you, Jason. Okay, there we are go. Are you in a room without? Wait, wait a minute. Uh, uh, wait yeah, a minute. I had, I, 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 I couldn't do I that. Go there we go. Room. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> fuck you, right there, okay? I know I'm out of sync too, so. Go below me. All right. All right. Hold on a second. I gotta come back to this. Here comes Tony. He'll put me even more out of sync. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. My, my dog three. almost got eaten by another dog. Oh really? Really? Let me see here. Uh, bu- 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 bum, uh, Tony. Uh, this it's would... a dog eat dog world, Ray. It is out here. And I'm wearing nook bone underwear. In the badlands. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what, what, Tony? Why Whose fan we, is that? Why aren't we getting a picture on Tony? Let me see here. I gotta figure this out That's again. Nice yeah, okay, H- here we go. Wait a minute, uh, uh, Tony. Yeah. Quip. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. There we go. Okay, now we have Tony. Ah, oh, freaking mosquito. <laughs> yeah. Now it's it's raining in New York. Uh, Alex? And it's been raining, been raining, yeah. Yeah, it was mm. pretty heavy tonight. Wow. Yeah. Just a minute ago, it was raining for me. Now, normally mm. with, my old first ma- three days. with my old machine, folks, I would not be out of sync. Okay. Not, I call it the old machine. It's actually the new machine. I'm going to make you feel one. homesick. Yeah. Uh, there, there's, the, homesick. there's the trash yeah. can <laughs> right there. there there's, an old, there's the uh, old new machine. It is so small and so quiet. Oh, it is me. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at that! Look, look! <laughs> yeah. Geese! Chop geese! <laughs> Canada geese! I say, are they Canadian geese over there, or are they Mexican yeah. geese? Oh, shit. Uh, every, 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 geese? Everybody be quiet a moment and say something, there, Ray. Some nice, yeah, these are some Nazi geese. There's a few nice Nazi geese here. Yeah. Now, they're Canada geese. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on yeah, a second. Yeah. I got. I got a. I got a cut to it. There oh, we they're go. Look at that. Into Look the at distance. that. Look at that, <laughs> folks. There you go. Canada geese. Yeah. But they don't. I just chased them into the water. They don't like you. <laughs> it looks like they're far from me, but they're only like. You think feet they'd away. be kind of fearless about people? But look at look at that. You got you got ducks, and then you got that oh, that fucking sunset reflecting on the this water. This is rough. Yeah, this is pretty I'm getting cool. eaten by mosquitoes, like, really bad right now. Really? Holy yeah, get, you got to get Oh, deep. yeah, there's a buttload of them. Ah! Yeah. But they're not always here. It's tonight for some reason. Yeah. I guess they're breeding at the moment or whatever they do. Okay, so anyway, Jason, what's new with you? Yeah, do something else. Jason? Ah! Ouch. Jason, what's new with you? Nothing. Same old, same old. Just... Living the American dream, working every day. Doesn't doesn't he look somewhat like the Unabomber tonight? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, Mr. Kaczynski, uh, what's your opinion on that? Uh, Can you mail uh, this letter for me? It's <laughs> uh, feeling sent, uh, left out since I haven't heard from Brian in a while, so I had to come down to the basement and give that basement feeling that he used to give. Uh, Brian? <laughs> Brian didn't do his from... Oh, did he do his, show, his, his call from the basement? Yeah, yeah before. Uh, I guess. Yeah, they, they didn't let him out of there very often. Yeah. You know, they sealed the door. It's kind of like what they used to do to Tony until his father yeah. passed away. Now all of a sudden, I'm in demand again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so what's the temperature in Detroit uh, since you're in a hoodie and have a blanket on? Uh, it wasn't bad. It's been it's been all right. Today it was like 63 or something like that. It's been like that last few days. But, but I mean, like I said, now I'm in my basement, Mike computer room is right below my kid's bedroom and we just put him to bed and he yelled down you're too loud so i'd come now down I, to the basement I, now, pretty cool now we there. got so many people i can't even do the uh, the uh, full screen 
because um, uh, uh, it, uh, the, it it can't take the power. It just can't do it. You know, it's amazing. It just it's a real problem. I need more power, Captain. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it pissed me off. I mean, I was hoping I was going to get this other machine back and everything would be wonderful again. You know, so I might not do a show on Tuesday just because I just, you know, this is just getting to be too much. You know. Captain! Yeah. She can't take it any longer? Yeah. <laughs> but when I try to send She's it... She's going it, to bust! It, it looks good here, but when I try to send it out, it, uh, uh, it it's... Uh, it, it starts stalling a lot. So. Hey, you know, Alex, when I listen to you on uh, Apple, you know, on my iTunes, I can't tell that you're out of sync. Yeah. And by the way, yeah, by the way, everybody is frozen now. This is, Every yeah, I mean, it's, it's, hmm. it's stilted. Uh, and I don't understand it, to be honest with you, uh, because I am sending out a pretty good, good signal. And it's it's having problems, you know. So I don't know. I I may I may give up on this. Yeah, at this point, I'm just uh, it's 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 it can't take the load. You want to just go to Skype and then post it after? That's what she said. Well, <laughs> you, you know, I don't I don't know if it's recording well because the other night it affected the recording. So uh. who knows, you know? But I mean, I'm not. I haven't got a lot of CPU usage here, so it should be. It should be pretty, uh, pretty good, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a, it's a problem. So I don't know. I really don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of giving up on this thing, and I just might call the show short tonight because uh, I can't, you know, I I I, I can't. If, if I got rid of like four of you or three of you, uh, I could maybe, you know. Uh, uh -huh. I'm on every night. I'll, yeah, me I'll too. I, I can't. Well, uh, let me let me keep. Uh, hey, Alex, I'll go off because my battery's about to die anyway, and I'll just listen on tune in. Okay, we'll go off and yeah. and let's see what happens Thank when you. you go. Yeah, why why don't we just experiment? Why don't Charlie, me, well, and well, no, 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 the, no, I, uh, I want you to stay, Phil, because uh, you got you 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 you. I can argue with you. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. And that's not. Let me see here. Um, we got rid of um, uh, Ray. Wow, it's really bad. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go here. Let me get rid of. Um, um, uh, let's see here. Let me get rid of uh, eight. Oh no, that's Tony. Tony, can we I get think rid Ray of Ray is three. Yeah, okay. I can Tony is six. Yeah, hang up, would you? And Ray is Ray yeah. was seven. Okay. Ray was seven? Yeah, Ray was seven. And I thought um, the positions went from the left six. corner now, and down. Uh huh. I Let, thought the positions went from the left corner down. So that Charlie's in one, Jeff is in two, and Ray was in three. I know, I've got I know what I'm doing here, Phil. Well, I'm just looking at it. I don't care screen. what you think. I'm telling you, I got rid of. Uh, I got rid of the two. I, you're looking at the, the picture five two minutes ago. Oh, okay. Time delay. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, I don't know. It, it's. Uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I just, you know, I just, I can't take this any longer. I, I like to do something that's good. I don't want to have to worry about the picture and all of that. And look at it. It's, it's still oh, pretty it's frozen. Gone. Still pretty frozen. It's so, amazing. So this is a time machine as well. You, you can go back two minutes. Uh. <laughs> Supposedly. I thought you did a radio show. Why are you worrying about the video? Well, because... Because it basically most of the people listening to it are listening to it with video. Yeah. Do you look at how many people download it from iTunes or no? Uh, uh, the, uh, the audio usage is minimal. Okay, at this point compared to the video. Uh, it, in fact, I'll tell you right now, audio-wise, well, there are 17 people listening to the audio right. But but that's what I'm saying. Like I I download like I would be downloading the show tomorrow morning, yeah. and listening at work. Yeah. Do you pay attention to people how many people download your show from iTunes? Uh, um, yes and no. Um, 
I don't know what to tell you. I, I really don't know what to do here. I don't know whether I want to stop the stream and start it again, and that causes a problem. Hmm. Okay, folks, if you're watching this and you're watching on what is this stream, I'm going to stop the stream and start it again and see uh -huh. what, 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 what we can do here. Uh, so I'm stopping the stream, and it's 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 got the problem that it had the other night is what it's having. Uh, okay, I've stopped the stream. I've kept the video going, so we'll see if, if, if uh, that uh, is that your prostate acting up. You had to stop the stream. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I had to stop the stream. <laughs> let me see here. Let me uh, let me try a few things, and then I'll start up the stream again. Uh, start streaming. You know, this is this is really you know it's impossible from the standpoint that I'm having to uh, do this. There we go. It's starting up the stream, and is everybody everybody is still still? Uh -oh. oh boy, there's still a problem with the stream. It's just I don't have the power in this machine to do this right. I really don't. And Live stream it, is giving you a hard time for dropping them. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, well, no, now we're smoother again. Now we're smoother again. Okay, so we'll just uh, we'll just we'll keep talking here, I guess, yeah. with the people we and, got. And, and your sync is not a latency issue? It's just... Uh, I have no idea, Phil. Don't even ask me. I don't. I, I don't get any of this. All I know is I got a machine in Texas now. You know. I mean, uh, I I I, uh, I I thought this would be just a problem for a couple of days until I got the machine back, and it isn't a, a problem. You know. And this little machine is trying the best it possibly can. Okay. Uh, but it, it's it, the machine it, that could. Yeah, but everybody's smooth now that we've got six. So I, the most I can do is six at the, at the present time before yeah. I start having a problem, you know. And uh, if you're watching this, folks, I'm sorry, you know, that you have to put up with this. And it's uh, uh, we got a lot of our people back, though. They stuck with it. So that's good. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let, let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, stuff, okay? Um, First of all, uh, uh, you know, Phil, you for the longest time have defended uh, Trump, uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, I I find that your defense of him uh, to be a bit disgusting uh, because oh. you defend him no matter what. Uh, Eddie, I can't, I can't call you back. Or oh, wait a minute, was he on? Uh, Is he, he was on. Oh, he was. He on. was one. Of Okay, I think so he was one of the six. We'll one, two, add three. him here. He just no, no, he was one of the seven. He was, he, no, he he was in the second place though. He was in there. Yeah, just, yeah, there he is. My Skype just shut off. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, okay, I was a Trump defender, still am. Yeah, but I mean, you defend him. I mean, come on, Phil, you're not a stupid guy, and this is a stupid man doing stupid things. I mean. You know, Biden was right when he talks about the morality of our country, that he has just lowered the standard of this country in the eyes of the world and in our own eyes. You know, I think this is a horrible country right now. And I don't think that we made America great again. We made America more obnoxious than it ever was. You know, and how you can defend this behavior, I have no idea. Yes, Jason. Well, he so, asked me a question, Jason. I, I, I was waiting for him to finish, yeah. so I didn't interrupt him. Mm -hmm. uh, but go ahead if you want. No, uh, uh, Jason? Uh, well, I was just going to, now you kind of screwed me up, Phil, because now you make me sound like I'm a jerk for talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the way just, they make me look. <laughs> I was just going to say, you know, hey, Trump's been basically arguing that all these, you know, immigrants are coming over, bringing diseases and shit to our country, but, you know, and maybe they should go back home. But isn't it uh, your people that are causing some diseases going around in our country right now? Maybe we should export mm -hmm. the Jews, right? Well, only in only in Rockland County. Can I can I bring up something here? Can, can and, I can I answer Alex's? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Answer my answer my question. Uh, 
you know, I believe that your opinion is based on, on a slanted opinion and that you're not listening uh, to uh, the media outlets that are giving you the full story, oh, uh, for instance. No, they're all, uh, they're, they're they're all they're lying on some level. Okay, they're all lying on some level. There is no place I can go and get the uh, get the unvarnished truth. What do you mean more than others? Come on, tell me. You're going to tell me. You are getting snippets, and they no, no. But that's exactly what you're doing, Phil. No, I. I, For instance, on the uh, on the statement that they made when they pulled down the statue in South Carolina, it seems as though there was a whole bunch of stuff that Trump said before the statement. And a whole bunch of stuff that was after the statement that had uh, that uh, made a the statement that was given by Biden a out of context statement. Wait a minute, wait a this- minute, wait a minute. Biden Biden was only reacting to the tweets he wrote, and they were complete. No, the tweets. How can a tweet be complete? It's 140 characters. Well, then, it, then he shouldn't use it, that as a method of communication if he can't communicate well, in 140 me. words. It's you 280. You should listen now. to other other avenues that will give you the rest of the I story. I listen to all of them, Phil. I watch well, Fox. I look at Fox every day. I watch Fox. I even go over to Newsmax. I, I heard a uh, an interview that was done with. You didn't uh, hear what Mark I said, Phil. Levine. Uh, Phil. Yeah, you said no. you go to Newsmax yeah, yeah, and you yeah, go to yeah. Fox. And I know you go to NRA. Yes, I do. Uh, I have it on so, my I have it on my Roku. But, as a matter of fact, but I think you hear what you want to hear. You you like this? No, sound I don't like hear stuff. what I want to hear. I hear what I hear, and my ears are saying this is bogus. Yes, Jason. So you know, we were at war with Mexico too, and Santa Ana was pretty decent general for the Mexicans. Should we be building statues to him in America? Sure, because, why not? Uh, we celebrate. Know, what, what, what is it? Uh, Lee, Cinco de Mayo? That's just a drinking holiday. Come on, Phil. No, be no, well, I, I, we celebrate it. Because it's a drinking holiday. We celebrate St. Patrick's Day for the same reason, too. But he, he's saying General Lee was such a great general, which he was. He was a strategically, he was wise and intelligent and everything. But should we be building statues and celebrating somebody who was an enemy of our country, who attacked our country? Oh, why, why not? Let's let's build statues to Hitler. Let's build statues to who was a you know in uh, J- Japan the people who attacked us. You know why why don't we build statues for all so these Jason, other people who attacked you, us? You want to rewrite history? You want to pretend it's not rewriting never, history, Phil? You want to pretend Lee these was an never enemy existed. of our country. Lee was an enemy of our country, was he not? No, was he an en- he was not an enemy of our country. Did no, he not he, attack us? Did he not kill hundreds of thousands of Americans? Uh, I, I think the uh, Fort Sumter thing, uh, was that was that the South that fired the round, or was it the North? Uh, the, 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 the Josh, you might know that. Uh, well, the, you know, South like, fired, the South fired on Fort Sumter, but I'm not prepared to classify Robert E. Lee as an enemy of our country. I mean, and neither am I. I'm he sorry. was an enemy of our country. He declared war on our country. How could he not be anything okay, less well, than an enemy? Okay, well, if you shut up for fucking five seconds and let me talk, I might tell you, okay? Because I've spent a lifetime looking into this, and if you think he's an enemy of the country, that's perfectly fine. I wasn't prepared to attack your position. All, all I was to say was that I'm not prepared to label him that. He didn't declare war, okay? The Confederacy declared war, of which it was made up of many people. Uh, secondly, he didn't come to that decision lightly. He didn't come to that decision easily. If you don't think that it was the right decision, that's perfectly fine. You're entitled to that. But I'm also not going to allow you to just make it sound like he was some kind of a dictatorial fucking warmonger who set out to massacre people in mass because that's just not who he was and that's just not what he was. Uh, there are people uh, today who feel that Grant was a butcher because he sacrificed as many men as he needed to to get the job done sometimes. I mean, okay. Josh, who, who was the guy uh, that know, burned I mean, his way? War. Who, who's the guy Sherman. that burned his way through Sherman. Georgia? Sherman? Sherman. Yeah. But, but uh, so Lee made his away. decision on what side to choose to take because uh, he was sure. from, you know, because his home, you know, but he made his own decision. So he became an enemy of the state when he made his decision to take their side. Jason, there was a lot of divisiveness in those years as well. And uh, the North 
was not uh, totally innocent of for of trying to force the South into capitulating to what they wanted. So, you know, correct, Jason? But, you know, yeah, that, that there the was South, a, a dis- that the South uh, was being uh, a force by the North. There was a lot of divisiveness at that time, much more divisiveness than we have now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to disagree. I mean, it, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it was a civil war. I mean, there are mistakes to be made all around. There is blame to go all around. I mean, look, if you think that at the time the Civil War was fought, everyone who lived in the North or in Union Territory, for example, um, was had a, held a favorable opinion of blacks or slaves, you're wrong. I mean, there were people in Boston... You know, a seat of liberty, if you will, who were more than happy to help uh, southern slave hunters capture fugitive slaves. Um, I mean, there were people lynched in Boston in the 1860s. In Boston. I mean, this country was not not ready to accept blacks at that time. But the the issue was much deeper than that. I mean, I guess that's all I'm saying is I'm just not going to allow people to label men like... like, you know, I'm sure at the beginning uh, of World Jackson War II, Orleans, there were yes, Jews who were on the, the Nazi side, too, who were affluent. No, you can't make that... Uh, uh, how can you not? I'm sure that there was affluent Jews in World War II at the beginning, before all the shit started really happening, who were taking the sides of the Nazis. I'm sure there were. You know, they, and it, they, they were acquiescing to the Nazis. They thought that this would never happen, and that uh, you know, they, they had no idea that uh, this could occur. You know, I had a friend that's dad is a survivor, and I heard the interview that he did for, um, uh, what's his name, Spielberg. And, uh, uh, you know, they sent people. And he says, you know, he was like 12 years old, and he was, uh, you know, just doing what they do in the town, selling fruit and just trying to survive. And, you know, they, they had no idea. It wasn't like they had the Internet. And uh, they could see what was going on. It was uh, they they were innocent of those things, uh, and and uh, unaware. Uh, and and the same in America, there is people who looked at blacks as just being slaves, and that's no, what they were here no, for. No, but they're, the north they were they were the darkie who was born to pick no, the no, cotton, no, no, no. right? Don't be divisive. <laughs> what, you, what are you saying, Phil? Fifth, we 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 should be. Wait, 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 wait. Are you yeah, saying that we should be sympathetic to Germans during World War II because they didn't know better? No. I, I was. Uh, it was a support for the Jews that were being rounded up because they didn't know. So, for instance, Jason said that the Jews uh, were were pro Nazi. Uh, some were pro Nazi at the beginning of the thing. It wasn't that they were pro Nazi. They they just didn't know. You know, there, there was no awareness of what was going on. It was uh, you know, hey, you know, this, oh, is, this is the way they function. But you know, Jay. Uh, uh, what I wanted to know is this three fifths rule for uh, for the, uh, the the voting thing on, on and blacks. You know they consider them to be three fifths of a of a citizen or a vote. Uh, was that in, uh, in, uh, created by the North to keep uh, the the South from having more representation? Uh, well, and, I, I don't know if I, I classify it as created by the North. Um, it was born of a compromise. In, in the in the convention to basically do the second part of what you were saying I think you're correct to ensure that the the southern territories the southern what would be states yes did not have a, a voting power you right. know because there was a, a proportionate an overwhelming amount of you know blacks making up population in the in the south and if they were allowed to all of them it would have given them, you know, more representation. Yeah, sure. And, and you know, they were forced to make sure. I mean, Madison, Madison at the convention tried, tried to convince everyone that the, the looming crisis that would come would not be large state, small state. And no one would believe him. But he said the, the, the looming crisis will be free state, slave state. It will be regional. It will not. It will be called sectional. In other words, what he meant was north and south. It will not be big state, small state. And he was prophetic. He was exactly right because that's where our crisis did grow from. It did not grow from 
you know, the state of Delaware arguing with the uh, state of Georgia, it, or, you know, uh, Rhode Island arguing with Mississippi. It was North State, North State, Southern States, Free State, Slave State. You know, so he, he was correct. Hmm. I, you know, but, I mean, just on the original point, I mean, listen, I, I don't have a picture of or a statue of Robert E. Lee hanging, you know, in my house. So I don't fly the Confederate flag or anything. But I'm not going to lie. I have some beautiful Civil War work. Um, uh, you know, I have I have a, 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 a gorgeous hand-painted picture of, of General Lee and General Jackson on horseback horseback trotting through the snow and and uh checking some things out you know i mean it's and i and i look at that picture and, and i don't oh you know i don't put myself in territory because i hung that picture up well on, on my wall that you know uh, uh i hate charlie now i mean let me you know, let me I mean, let me let, I don't look let, at it let me way. say something here and that is that i don't think we can deny our history because we feel that that history you know, to, to bury that history is to bury a part of what we were. And maybe we don't want to be that again, but what we have to do is, is uh, recognize that we were that at one time. And you do need, the fact that you like to, to collect that history, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You know, there are people who like to collect Nazi memorabilia, and not because they're pro-Nazi, but because there's a history there. Uh, so, I, you know, I mean, uh, yes, slavery was wrong. The whole idea of slavery was wrong. Uh, but at the time that it existed, nobody was standing up and saying this is wrong. I mean, our founding fathers didn't stand up and say this is wrong. They didn't write an right. amendment immediately uh, banning uh, uh, slavery yeah. because, in fact— I mean, I mean, a few of them did. But you're right. A few, a few did, and but most of them were most more of, there than others. Most of them owned slaves. Yes, Jason. I say, but you know, look at in Germany. You know, they did ban the swastika. You know, you can't display it or in public or whatever. You know, and if you want to go like just just be like pure assholeish of the how history normally pertains to the victor goes the spoils. You don't build statues to the losers. You know, you don't build because the, technically they are the enemy. They lost. We won. We should have the statues of our generals down there, but instead of their generals. Yeah, you know, yeah. Let me let me, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, Jason. Uh, there were people whose sons were Southerners. They fought on the Confederate side. They died in that war. They felt that there should be memorials to honor those people who died who because they were their people. Is there something wrong with that? So that's when they built them in the 40s? <laughs> well, I Not mean, we, 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 we build a memorials in almost every city in the United States to the dead of World War I and the dead of World War II. And in the South, some of them did it to the, the the dead of the war in in yeah. in, in the so south. Well, wait a minute, hold on a Germans. second. I I bet there are still statues and memorabilia to the northern troops here. I'm sure you can go to certain cities. I don't know where, maybe in Pennsylvania or whatever, where there's a memorial to the war dead of the Civil War. Am I right or wrong about that, uh, Josh? Gettysburg. Yeah, I mean, look, what what I. Was I was going to say was I just got back a couple weeks ago from a trip, you know, to Gettysburg, where I oh. went to the battlefield over a couple of days. And that Gettysburg is really the shining example in that about 20 years after the battle, you know, in the 1880s, some of the veterans of the battle began to return, uh, including some Confederate veterans, and they began to put the monuments up at that time. Now, today at Gettysburg, there are, uh, I don't remember how many monuments. It's, there's a lot. I mean, there are a lot. I mean, I mean at least uh, over 100. And it's about, I believe they told us during one of the, the tours, about 85 to 90% Union monuments. There are very few Confederate monuments. But there are some, including the, the monument to, from the state of Virginia, which is one of the largest monuments at Gettysburg. How about um, the reenactors? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and, you know, one of the reasons that it is Union monuments almost only is because, again, you know, it was a Union victory, and uh, basically, 
equally. I mean, it was a close call, but it, Gettysburg is considered pretty much a Union victory. Uh, uh, Union won the war, um, and, you know, they do get to set the narrative. Is that a federal but park? I just don't think that you can deny that there are Confederate soldiers and generals who showed up at Gettysburg um, and made their life on the line for what they believed in. Now, you, you don't believe in what they believed in. It's fine. Nothing, you know, wrong with having that opinion. But there, there's no reason, you know, that because I didn't agree with their opinion that I should tend to act as if they just didn't exist. Because the fact is they did exist. Uh, um, men died for other men, you know, at Gettysburg and Antietam and, and dozens of of other places in that war and, and before and since. So I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not a believer in that. I just don't think so we should of, be celebrating them as heroes. Out. You know, I, I can see you building a monument. Let's say, hey, you have Lee on one side and you have, uh, uh, crap, well, I drew it well, right. uh, Yeah, but let me Grant ask. on the other side. You know, you put them face to face like they're going at each other or something. I could see that 100%. And I could see that in the South, too. But well, in the South, well, you don't let me have ask, monuments let me ask to you the Northern this. generals. I'm sure, just, I'm sure in the South you could find uh, plaques and monuments in cities where they listed the dead from that city. You go take a tour of some of these places in the South, and they sit there and talk about these Southern generals like they're such heroes, and the North was so you know vulgar for coming down and invading their territory. Because I've been to Gettysburg well, I mean, before too, listen, and then listen, I also went listen. down south and seen some of the stuff down there too, and it's just such a different a different story and atmosphere about how they talk about I, it. I I don't think necessary. Correct me on any of this, Josh, because you're the expert on this. You this, you made this kind of something you're interested in. But it was my feeling that Lincoln really stopped slavery, not because he hated the, the fact of slavery, but that he wanted to uh, give uh, to, to economic sanctions against the South. Right. And that precipitated yeah, I mean, I, the war. I, I would pretty much agree that I would not have classified Lincoln as, you know, uh, like an ultra-abolitionist or, or a radical for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, his reasons for, you know, the Emancipation Proclamation, et cetera, were, were you know, in many ways political uh, and strategic, not, not just born out of a genuine, you know, uh, belief in his heart that, you know, uh, blacks should be free. I, I do think he believed that, and he certainly was not a racist, but I'm just saying he didn't make his decisions based upon you know, uh, the ultra-radical belief at the time, you know, that blacks were equal. Um, a lot of it was strategic and a lot of it was political, but just because he had strategic and political reasons doesn't mean, you know, he didn't reach the right decision. You know, the reasons that he reached it were were varied, but, you know, he did make the right decision. And, I mean, you know, and even kind of circling back to the original conversation, I mean, number one, I, I don't celebrate those people as, you know, heroes, um, number two, uh, Lincoln was of the belief that we didn't need to have war trials and hangings, et cetera, et cetera, for like Robert E. Lee and uh, so on and, and, and other people. Um, you know, uh, he didn't think that would do the country any good, and I don't think it would have done the country any good then. I don't think it would do the country any good now. And number three, I'm not saying that if I had been alive, I, I would have been a member of the Confederacy or I would have served in the Army of Northern Virginia. But I can tell you right now, especially from the long list of people that manned in the Union Army from time to time at the very top and, and somewhat beneath that, I would have been extraordinarily proud to serve under a commander like Robert E. Lee. Um, maybe not necessarily because I was fighting on his side for something I believed in. I just mean as a generic statement. Well, here, here's the question, know, though. I have he was for, the kind uh, of person you, you want to serve under. Josh, I, the question I have for you is, um, it, was that war fought over slavery? Or was it just fought over... What was, what was the primary premise of that war? Well, I think that it... In other it's words, in other words, one reason or another well, reason. Part, sold part of the yeah. state rights. Well, part, no, part of the reason was that the, the South wanted to secede from the Union. What was their reason for wanting to secede from the Union? 
Well, in, in order to maintain their autonomy in terms of, you know, the the issue of, of slavery. Of slavery. Because their okay. economic situation depended fully upon being able to keep that labor system in place, you know. And I think the war was fought for slavery, but also for union. And it, I think it evolved. I think most historians agree that it evolved over time, especially for members of the Union Army, who in the beginning, you, you know, started out not necessarily with the slavery question in their minds, but more so for the question of union and for uh, many of them for personal adventure. But I think later, after... Uh, several battles, um, major battles, uh, you know, a couple years of campaigning, we now know, um, and we, we have evidence of this, we have letters, we have diaries, um, you know, newspaper articles, uh, testimony from veterans, et cetera, et cetera, that clearly points to the fact that as the war went on, and they, they learned more about what life was like for slaves and in the South, uh, etc. That you know, freeing other men became a uh, an issue that was forefront in their mind. I mean, you know, as as the as the the song says, you know, uh, as he died to men make holy, let us you know die to make men free or whatever. I mean, you know, there were Union soldiers, uh, a great deal of them, who came came to that determination that what they were doing had never been done before and might likely never be done again, which was free men volunteer, voluntarily fighting free and enslaved people. Uh, Phil has his hand up. Yeah. You know, there there are other great generals minute, that... Hold on a second. I got a, yeah. I got some slap back there. Go yeah. ahead. There were other great generals that, you know, you, you might look at and say, hey, they were Nazis, so therefore... Uh, they don't count. But you look at a guy like Rommel, uh, who, who was a brilliant uh, tactician and a brilliant general. Do you not learn from uh, these these men so that you could have peace in the future? And uh, do you not learn from their uh, their tactics? Uh, do you just ignore them because uh, they they uh, they served under Hitler? Uh, you know, uh, Rommel was a brilliant general. Well, Rommel you're, turned you're out an in idiot the if you don't. Take uh, note of somebody who is, you know, smart, is strategically smart. You know, even uh, who's that one doctor, uh, Mangle or whatever. Man his Mangle. Name is. You, yeah. you know, they, they were he was stupid. An animal. They were, but he did have some medical breakthroughs, and you're stupid to throw the shit out that he did. No, he did. What, the, what, know, what, what, medical, what, what medical breakthroughs did he have? Uh, he experimented on Jews in concentration camps. Not, not only them. He experimented on cows and stuff like that too. But there was just different things that he did to understand how the body works and stuff. That they just they threw the his his research out. You know, which you know, even though it was Initially. horrible what he did. It, you know, well, I, what they that that was inhumanity to man, and you know what the gains that they made from that kind of research is 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 dirty. I don't, and, I don't uh, think. I, I, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Dirty. Hold on a second. If you I, can if you can learn something from a war and strategy and te, you know how to pursue something and do something. I, I disagree. And I, I disagree with you, Josh, because in the case of Mengele, he didn't accomplish Jason. anything. Uh, Jason, excuse me. He didn't. He didn't um, uh, gain any information on anything. He was a nutcase who was decided that there was something about twins that he had to experiment on, and he did terrible things to these twins in order to do this. But that was. If uh, name me one thing that he found out. One. One medical. Maybe I'm advance. mistaken, but I thought that there was things that he did, no, like where he, no, you know, or is no. dis is disgusting, where he put windows no. in people's stomachs in order to see no. how the digestive system worked well, and all different I'm... things like that, how organs reacted with each other. Uh, he did not come up with anything. He he was not the. He was a butcher. He was a butcher. You know, uh, I mean, I I you know, if you want to say that you know the the whole thing with the South uh, is. Uh, uh, it, 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 there's a large question about about uh, why we went to that war, 
You know, I, I was always taught in school, as, as I read somewhere in some book, that there was this story about how Abraham Lincoln was in New Orleans and went to a slave market and was so appalled by slavery that he said, if I ever become president of the United States, I will abolish slavery. That story is bullshit, B pure and utter bullshit. He, he wrote the Emancipation Proclamation in order to fuck over the South. That's right. what he did. Plain and simple. See, that other story came from MSNBC. And, Jeff that, has his and, hand that, up. and that precipitated a, a war. Yes. I think I know why my, my, my picture is bad tonight. I changed the way I'm capturing it. Uh, and I may have to go back to the old way because last night this show was perfect. Just perfect. Yeah. You know. Jeff so. uh, has his hand up. Yes, Jeff. You're muted. Uh, you're muted, Jeff. Bingo. Um, I'm sorry. Um, as, as far as people doing uh, research as doctors and, and people who develop uh, heart projects or any kind of surgery projects, they often start with, with uh, animals because they're, they're good animals. They're good models, so to speak. Yeah. Like a pig is the heart. Mice. Of, in a pig, well, a mice is not a great surgical model. No, but they, they yeah, use but, them to, you know. Yeah, they use them for certain things. But, I, you know, the, the one thing is compared to the human doing these things, uh, most people would, would use animals as, as preliminary studies. And uh, regardless of who they were, whether they were Nazis or not, I, I, you know, people would would try to use pigs and things like that because the the pig's heart is pretty much close to the same as ours. So they even it, use their valves. Yeah, sure, and cows too. Also, yeah. matter of fact, they have both. Yeah. So, uh, I I think sometimes. People get emotionally overloaded as to as to what the science is, but when you take a guy like Mendela, he went beyond the normal right. approach. Right. Uh, um, if you if you read *Man's Search for Meaning* uh, by uh, Victor, uh, I forget his last name, but he invented something called logarithmia, which is uh, his ability to overcome pain through thought because of the way the Nazis uh, experimented on him. You know, I, it, it's, uh, Victor Frankl. So if you read, I don't know if you've read that, it's called Man's for, Search for Meaning. It's a very good book oh, yeah. to, you know, to kind of give you an idea of what some of these people were put through uh, in the concentration camp. Yes, uh, 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 Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, the, the one uh, Nazi who I, I admire the most of all people, is Werner von Braun. Oh, came. yeah, and he started the V2 system and, yeah. the, and, and the rockets. Yeah, and, he was a rocket scientist, and uh, he was fantastic in, in Germany. And, yeah, and yeah, then at the end of World War II, he came to the United States. Yeah. And actually, my, my cousin, who's an engineer, worked with him. So, uh, you know, and... Yeah, but, you know, here, 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 was the problem, here was the problem with Werner von Braun, and it's a problem with a lot of scientists. Scientists don't have, don't have humanistic values necessarily. All they care about is the science. And at Peter Munde, they employed a lot of Jews as slaves there to build the rocket launchings and all that whole area of Peter Munde. And so he was somewhat complicit in the use of the Jews. Uh, he perhaps saved some Jews only because they were put into service to build stuff for him. And mm -hmm. so they weren't put on the chopping block by being sent off to a concentration camp. But I don't think that his desire <coughs> was to necessarily, he didn't have any concept of, hey, Jews are being killed and exploited and whatever. His I agree own, with you. Know, Could it have been timing? You look at Einstein who left Germany no, we, about we, 10 years we put before. Up, we put up with Werner von Braun after the war because he was a good rocket scientist and we needed him, okay? Yeah. And because what happened was the Russians were very bright. What they did at the end of the war is they went to Peter Munde and they grabbed as many rocket scientists as they possibly could and took them back to Russia. And we just got, we got Werner von Braun, who may not have been the best one, you know, 
Uh, and that's why they beat us in rocketry. I mean, as I watched this documentary on cosmonauts, you're correct. They, they showed like the 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 uh, the Russian uh, uh, rockets. They from the very beginning had more power than anything we had. Yes, my my cousin uh, who worked with Von von Braun is actually going to come in. Uh, he, he lives in California, but he's actually coming to uh, New York. This weekend, I'm going to ask him all about that. Yeah, I mean, von Braun was very, very good. Von Braun was one of the heads of the of the program, but the, the the large amount of the best rocket scientists that were available, Russia got. Okay, uh, in the liberation of of Peter I think Mundial. you're correct uh, yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Peter Munday, in case people don't know, was the locked rocket facility. Uh, where they were building all these rockets. Uh, they weren't building, by the way, they weren't building them to send men to the moon. They weren't building them to send men into space. They were sending them to land in London and blow people up. Yeah. So hmm. don't think that Werner von Braun was a great guy, but he was so into building the rockets. It's kind of like there was an old song by Tom Lehrer, and the lyric goes something yeah. like... Uh, I you know I don't care I only care that they go up I don't care where they come down says Werner yeah. von Braun you know uh, uh, it, 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 I never heard that thank you yeah. oh, I've got for that. that they all go up but they I don't care where they come down says Werner von Braun you know and that's really the the mind of a scientist I mean they didn't care where they came down they just cared that they could go up and they could get a rocket to you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess in, in every business, they've got a saying. A friend of mine's in the car business, and he says, there's an ass for every seat and a seat for every ass. <laughs> yeah. And you're the ass who sits in one. Anyway. Yeah, uh, I got new seats. <laughs> yeah, you have new seats, do you? Yeah. yeah. I think I maybe figured out what the problem is tonight. I'm using a different uh, uh, thing to record the show with, a different uh, a law, uh, algorithm. And I should go back to the old one because the the one I was using last night I had no problem with anything happening. Mm -hmm. online, so, eh. yeah, last night was like. I perfect. just once I once I you know I I I I'm gonna try again on Tuesday. I'm gonna try you again. Can't on help Tuesday. but fuck with it. If I've got a problem Tuesday, I'm just gonna sign the show off, and I'm not gonna go back on till I get my old machine back. Okay, that's it. But I think maybe I can. Uh, you know, for people who are watching this, uh, you're probably watching at times a very stuttering uh, video presentation, uh, but I'm going to put it up anyway, okay, so that you can... Are, are, you, are you mimicking that uh, stuttering guy that uh, the, 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 other, the other disc jockey in New York uses, what's his name, Howard Stern? Yeah. He's got a stuttering guy. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, 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 Jason. Jason. A, a surprise Phil didn't make the joke. That's where your problem is, is you're using an Al Gore rhythm instead of a Donald Trump rhythm. I see, I see, <laughs> an Al Gore rhythm, exactly. Uh, no, but, uh, you know, the divisiveness of today is nothing compared to what they had in 1862 and 3. And, you know, uh, you know think, think oh, about Oh, I think it. we are divisive. And hopefully I, I think things our, have changed I, in the last hundred years. Well, well, I think no. I think our divisiveness is is just as bad. I think it's different, and it, it manifests itself in a different way. But it's just as bad. I think right now we are as divided a nation as we can possibly be, and I am blaming them that right at the feet of Donald Trump. Who, and um, listen to me, Phil. The fact is, the president sets the tone of the nation and the tone of the discussion. And he, he, uh, people look to the president for guidance as to what is proper and what is right to do and wrong to do. And he has been a bad example to this country. He has set up, he has set up a very, we didn't have this under Obama. Obama didn't cause a divisiveness No, he did like all this. his crap in no. secret. Oh, come on. Bullshit, Phil. What, what did he do in the, secret? The man was the Tell worst me. president no. that no. ever touched this yes. nation. Oh, he was worse than Jimmy Carter. Not even close. <laughs> you know, Don't forget oh, what Phil. he brought us back from. He yeah, brought he, us back from the mm. brink of a depression. Yeah, yeah. Phil, oh. Phil, Phil. You, you it know, was all you, part you of the deal okay. that Bush had. Yeah, name one bad, name, a, name some bad things uh, Obama did. 
he gave 150 billion to the Iranians. No, no, you that, say it's that, their that, money, that, that but their they money. are. That terrorists. has nothing. That has nothing. No, that has nothing to do. That has nothing to do with the running of this country. They oh, they got 150 thousand million dollars, billion dollars of their money. Of their, it was their money. Yes, but what do they do with it? It was their they, they, money. They sent it. They sent it to the Gaza to the lot Bob. It the was Israel. their All money, they Phil. Are the main Phil, it people. was their money. It was in our bank, and we weren't you letting them have more V2s to, to to hit London because it was their V2s, and we took them away. Phil, you Phil, know, come you, on. You are a fucking moron. No, no, no. The, the moron here right now is you. Uh, not recognizing how bad Obama was. You just love his ears, you love his voice, you love his presentation, but we, his substance is... I he, liked his dignity, Phil. Something yeah, so Trump so, doesn't have. So Trump so hasn't dignity. won scintilla of... Uh, he's, so, he's got so much dignity as he gives the money to allow these people to foster uh, uh, the kind uh, of hate... He was ordered to hate. by the world court to pay them their money back, Oh, Phil. fuck the world court. Well, right. you know, that's very easy to say, Phil, but if he was ordered by the world court to pay My them, leader, let me finish, Phil, if he was pay, told to pay the money back by the world court, then he had to do it. Don't say fuck the no, world court. All, that's not an answer. That's Alex, not an answer. That's not an nuclear, answer, Phil. That's not an answer. Of, no, that's other, not other, an it answer. It was all part of his nuclear deal. You want to try and talk over me? You know, uh, you know I can Phil. shut you up. All I have to do is I just hit your uh, thing here and I go... Uh, <laughs> Hey, you Phil, know, you know we, that his his, his own that. intelligence people are telling him that Iran is actually abiding by their nuclear agreements and that we're actually kind of in the wrong to be yeah, trying to get out of the treaty. It, we, we Trump's own people are saying that. To begin with, because what that's going to do is in 10 years, it would have given them the ability to have a nuclear bomb. So now they and now a nuclear bomb, a Phil, a nuclear not, bomb. Not, not, in, not uh, as long as we have a good leader that's going to make sure they don't. Trump's own intelligent people are saying it was a good deal, yeah. but Trump is not, no, and you're agreeing with Trump people. instead of the intelligence it, industry. It was the people that you know that uh, uh, Christie and a number of other people said, "Hey, you know these these are good guys. You can bring them into the administration." Now he's got his own people, you know Pompeo and and so forth, and they're not saying it's a good deal. Uh, just just the Obama and Hillary uh, holdovers are the ones that are saying it's a good deal because they didn't want their their shit to be exposed. The, Hillary, it's really, they're going to lock her up. I really hope that they do an investigation and they lock up some of these people. But they've done enough an investigation. Let me, let me bring up, can I bring up they something? They found a single thing. Can I bring up something? Number one, uh, they're never going to go after Hillary because nothing happened in Benghazi that uh, the ambassador not, didn't, was that, wait a minute, that the ambassador didn't cause because he was told not to go there. All right. Okay. Thirty thousand uh, emails. Uh, okay. So thirty thousand. You're right. Okay. What to pick up? Eggs and one and a half million yes. dollars. And, and, and the same is true. Uh, how about Ivanka's emails? And how about Jared's emails? Oh, it's it's another what about? Okay. You you what want a what about? Okay. Let me let me let me bring emails. something up that's kind of interesting. You know, we have a measles epidemic in this country right now. Measles is what not as. Uh, let me. Can I finish? Do you have to always <coughs> jump in? Yeah. Uh, it, it, measles is a is is a far more insidious disease than it was when I was a kid because we didn't think much of it. But the fact is, the kids get measles, and for three years afterwards, it, it can have some dire effects from measles. It is a very dangerous disease. And last night I was <coughs> saying that somebody should go out and arrest Jenny McCarthy. Because this cunt went around telling women don't vax because it causes, uh, what do you call it, uh, autism, uh, the, the measles vaccine. Do you know who else said that? Donald J. Uh, Trump. He tweeted it. I, I didn't hear a word He of tweeted it. I saw the yeah. tweets today. Uh, I don't have my phone in front of me. Well, go look Vice it up. Vice News covered it tonight. Go, go look it Google up. News? Vice News. Vice News. Okay. Vice News. Is well, that forget the Vice News. I saw, it, I saw it tonight on the NBC Evening News. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I don't know why he would have done that. Because uh, he's a moron, Phil. Because he's an idiot. Because he tries to act like he knows everything when he knows nothing. 
Well, he does know everything. Don't but, know why uh, he was pro-abortion yeah. before he was anti-abortion. Uh, you know. <clears throat> why he was anti-gun before he was pro-gun. You know, uh, as far as this vaccination stuff goes, uh, people have their own reasons for doing and not doing. And in America, uh, you are allowed to do that. And if uh, no, you're you're not. If if the if the public health is at risk, no, you're not allowed to. Not allowed. Well, no. If the public health is at risk, you can say you can't send your kid to school. You can't. Uh, well, you that's know. what they that's what they're doing. Well, then that's fine. If you don't want to get vaccinated, then but I mean, I think Jenny McCarthy should be held to account for kids who are dying from measles, and so should Donald Trump because of his tweets well I, I i think you're probably taking it as much out of context no i as, saw these tweets the so uh, uh, I, south carolina thing. i saw these tweets so let me see if i can find them i've got one Eddie has his hand up you've got one yeah, yeah march 28 2014 trump yep. tweeted healthy young child goes to doctor gets pumped with massive shots of many vaccines doesn't feel good and changes capital letters autism many such cases. This is what they were telling everybody in 2014. Okay. This Sorry. is 2019, and things <clears throat> things change. They've been telling people this for the longest time, and that hey, measles is Trump bad. Had, Trump had warned us that they were coming over the border and they were bringing disease. And they're not. You know? Yes, uh, yes, uh, Jason. So I, I actually, you know, I did experience it too, and I was a, not an anti-vaxxer believer, but I did understand and realize when these kids go and get a crap load of vaccines at one time, they end up running really high fevers. And really high fevers can cause autism. And I was thinking maybe that could be an issue. So that's where I spread out my kids' vaccines a little mm -hmm. bit further apart. And then I also made sure I gave him some type of uh, – of, uh, uh, medicine or whatever like an aspirin so it'd help with a fever a fever reduction before he got mm. his shot so then he didn't have a fever afterwards and i really think maybe they should look into that and suggest that maybe you give your kid some type of acetamin not acetaminophen but uh ibuprofen or something that would help break a fever Jason, i'm not sure about this maybe you can correct me but i thought that if you give a kid aspirin while they were uh having a fever that that could create some other uh, issue uh, I, I don't think it was. I don't know. Let's ask Jack, Let's ask, ask Dr. Trump or Dr. Jenny McCarthy. Well, no, ask uh, yeah. Dr. Jeff. He'd probably. Know. <laughs> uh, is there some issue? Hey, Jeff, with Jeff, Jeff. Me, if, it was, if it was my kid, I would talk to my doctor very quickly. Yeah. It, it, the people I was getting the because actually we went to uh, the the health department or whatever to get our vaccines, and man, they were giving us such a hard time about it. And I'm like, look. Our kid's going to have all of his vaccines by the time, you know, he's going to be on schedule. We're just not giving him six vaccines right now. We only want to do three right now. We're going to come back in a couple of weeks and do another three. We don't want to do six at one time. But like I said, we just, we made sure because I knew it was going to give him a fever. Why, you know, he doesn't need to have a fever. Jason, a lot of people don't know how to think outside the box. Right. You know, if you if you don't want to follow by the by their protocol, they think you're crazy. Which you might be. Hey, you know, they know. they got you in the room. <laughs> they want to they want to shoot you up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, but just trying to help your kid. I guess yeah. what I resent, Phil, is that, that right. you try to you, you try to fight any argument with, well, it's fake news and it's a lie, or that I'm so stupid, Phil that I'm listening to all these people who are, 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 are uh, telling me what to think. And the fact yep. of the matter is, Phil, I have never been that way. I have always looked at all the media, and then, I haven't, then I've looked at this, the story itself and tried to suss it out on my own. And I have never been influenced by any media. And in the past, and in the past, that's true. And one of the reasons I like you. But you know, on the other hand, I think in this no, case, because I'm not saying what I'm not saying what I'm not saying what you want to hear, Phil. I hardly watch the fucking media. Okay, Maybe that's I, I just reason. I so just what you do here. I just listen uh, to to the words of this mumbling fucking moron who can't even speak the English language properly, uh, and and I'm sorry, I like smart people. 
All right, and this person is not smart. Well, he is a dumb piece of today, shit. The, it came out that we had a 3.2% uh, GDP uh, growth uh, in this last quarter, mm -hmm. uh, which was a lot higher than they thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. The economy is it doing the best that it's done almost ever. Uh, and and know, how he's, does Trump he's doing and, what he uh, said he would wait a minute. do? How, how, did, how did Trump bring that about? Will you tell me? Or maybe he didn't By it just By reducing uh, onerous uh, regulations. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, our trade with China is about ready to burst. Zay uh, said today, uh, and they're, they're dialing this back a little bit, but he said that uh, they're going to open up uh, uh, their. Uh, uh, country to bringing in more U.S. goods. Uh, if China starts buying our U.S. goods, our economy is going to sail. Uh, uh, and, Guess what, Phil? You know, Dream again. Well, you know. Uh, they can buy them I, from I, India. They can buy them from any number of places. Do you India think will gonna, buy ours, uh, You think they're going to buy them from somebody who's waging a trade yeah, war with them? Because we're negotiating with them right now. Plus... Plus, we have to make sure that they don't steal our intellectual property, and we have to. We you have to. You, you uh, can't prevent trade that, Phil. And, and and, and uh, you don't think we steal intellectual property? Not like the Chinese do. Uh, well, uh, I beg to differ with you. We steal it too. No, no, no. They've been stealing billions and billions uh, uh, wantonly. Uh, you know when? Where do you, uh, where do you get this? Where do you get this figure of billions and billions? I get it from... How many uh, billions exactly, Phil? It's reported. No, you're just spouting it out of your mouth. No, hey, that's an, another thing. You're just so that's, making that's it up. Defense. It's fake it's Phil it news. Came out of my mouth. It's Phil it, fake it's news. True. Yeah, yeah. Just because it came out of my mouth, it's not true. But uh, if anybody is spouting out fake news right now, when you talk about Donald Trump, it's you. Really? Mm. With these trade issues, you can't just go off on your own. You should have went with your other allies and go after China altogether. So then you can make it an even fair playing field instead of just saying these are our rules, abide by them. And then you kind of just screw yourself and you add tariffs to everything and then you make mean, a, you, you make the American people pay more for every day. You mean the that way it the way it's been done for the last thirty years, uh, the 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 way. Uh, uh, they have been laughing at us and 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 and, and making their currency, uh, floating their currency, so that uh, uh, they they make it so cheap, so that we buy their stuff and they don't buy ours. You know, I, hey, why repeat things hey, over hey, and over? Hey, I agree with you. I, 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 I get. I'm I get. Yeah. You don't just go off on I your guess own Phil and gets, like, yeah, I get what I, your I guess, but nobody else. Was I guess doing it. Phil gets bothered by somebody who, for instance, has another rug store down the street and sells stuff cheaper. Well, I welcome the guy. Well, down the I mean, it, come on, that's what that's what trade is all about, you know. And yes. the fact that China now, people are going to buy from me because the, the fact is that China became better at capitalism than we did, and capitalism is dirty. No, okay? they became better at it because it was unfettered capitalism, uh, and and unfair. And they were they are stealing unfair capitalism. How's it unfair? Yeah. Well, we, we haven't. Well, gotten, because, well, look what they're doing to the environment. Look yeah. what they're doing to the environment. Look, look, look what they do to our copyrights. You know? Yeah, well, yeah. Anyway. and our patents. That's our theme song going off, and uh, I want to thank everybody uh, uh, who are all in sync except for me now. Uh, uh, but uh, I'll be back in sync in a moment, folks, when I get rid of them. Uh, thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Eddie. Good having you on, Eddie, three nights in a row. I, yeah. I hope you can make it when we actually have a system that works here. I, I think I'm, on Tuesday I maybe can get things a little more in sync, folks. I think it was because I tried a new system tonight. Anyway, you don't need to know how the, how the, how the hamburger is made. Phil, thank you. Thank you, Josh. We really appreciate some of your historical lectures. And, of course, uh, we always love uh, talking to our old friend, Jason. Okay? Uh, what I would like to have you all do is give a big wave goodbye to the people out there so that they can, yeah, so I can I can wave back too. All right, there we go. And, and uh, let me see here. I have to do it this way. Okay, there we go. And, and now you see, I see I'm out of sync, folks. Now watch what happens when I hang up on them. All of a sudden, I will go into sync, right? Now I'm in sync. <laughs> Oh, man, I want to kill myself. 
Anyway, for those of you who have been watching this, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a good discussion. Uh, I'm going to put it up anyway, even though we're probably going to have picture problems. Uh, and we'll see you again. Let's see here. It's uh, next Tuesday, hopefully, unless I decide not to. Uh, Tuesday, uh, right after the uh, intersection, uh, the intersection, the exchange with Damian Chaplin at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And in the meantime, if you see her, as always, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week.